Yeah, and I wouldn't I wouldn't advise anybody to to propose after six months. I say, fellows, you're smarter than that. Follow your heart. Don't follow your heart. What? Hey crew, welcome back to another video. Today we're having this seafood boil mukbang. We have shrimp, mussels, snow crab legs, and we're gonna have a conversation today while we talk. We're gonna be having a conversation about how long couples should wait until they uh, until the guy proposes. So, first of all, let's talk about the food. We got these uh, this boil from BJ's. We went. Um, shopping a couple days ago and this cost I want to say let's just say 30 bucks and it's a whole bunch of food no it costs um 22 I don't think it was 22 I feel like it was 28 but I don't know I think it was 23 to be honest but whatever um so what we did was just follow the instructions on the back of the package it does need a little bit more seasoning but it's good yeah I was afraid I boiled it I didn't want to add too much seasoning to the point where it was too salty because it said it was seasoned. Yeah, that's good though. But next time we know, um, that's a little bit of Old, old Bay in that water. Mm hmm It'll be very good. But it's good though. But let's talk about the topic. How long should you wait before you propose? First of all, one, females don't traditionally propose, so that question, tough, right? Kind of. For me personally talking, I feel like there is no set time. If you want to, if you feel like that person is the one, then, you know, go for it. There's some people who know each other for two months. Sorry. That know each other for two months and they're together for 20 years. There's some people that are together for 20 years and then, two, then they get married. Two months later, they're divorced. So it really, I feel like there's no timeline. If you say there's a timeline, then I don't know. That's kind of weird. I just don't think there's a timeline. I think that when you, whenever you're ready, you do it. Especially if you feel like you know this person is the one, then go for it. In our case, I don't. We I might not be the one. It's going on four years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. You know, I'm old now. <laughs> She always says she's old. She's not old. She's a young soul. I'm almost 30, guys. She's a young soul. <laughs> if 30's old, then <laughs> everyone's old. Shoot. <laughs> but uh, for me, I think... Um, I'll start off by saying this. I think that as a man within... Obviously, my opinion, within two months, you'll know whether or not you want to spend your life with that woman you're dating. Two months? Within two months. Okay. I'm not saying to propose in two months. I'm saying one should probably know or does know within the first two months whether or not you want to keep on moving forward or not. So that's what I think. For me, I think... Um, I think... You should go wait at least four years to know the person properly. Four um, years to know someone is kind of like... Yeah, because, you know, four years, um, you know, for me, I would want to live with the person. So you're not going to live with the person, you know, after three months more than likely, unless you're moving that fast. So you want to live with them. You want to go through some hardships, some good times, some bad times, um, you know, Take, tr go on trips with them, see how they are with their family, without their family, see how their family is, how their relatives are. I feel like you're not marrying the family, you're marrying the person, so, but I get it. Well, he wasn't married into a crazy family, too, but. Yeah, I mean, you are marrying the person, but you also, you know, I mean, I, I would, if whoever I'm marrying, I'll keep it to myself. Whoever I'm marrying, I want to, you know. I would hope that they I would want them to have like a cool family that I could relate to and I could talk to and we could socialize and it's not awkward and it's not weird or anything. 
So that's all the things I'm figuring out in those four years. You know, you that's that why in one year. Uh, I don't think you can live with someone, go on a trip with them, and figure out their ins and outs in one year. I just, I just disagree with you. That's why I say four years is my ideal time frame. You know, once you hit that four year mark, then you know. If you know, you know. That's all I'm saying. That's why I pre. That's why I said in the beginning. What did I say? You know, within two, two months, months. Yeah, within two months, you should know. Four years. Because you still got to go through the trials and, and tribulations. But and if you already know, then what is there more to know? If you already know, well, you have to still, um, you know, test the test the relationship. Oh, we've been tested. Yeah, you got still got to test the relationship in good and bad ways. So, by what you're saying, are you arguing that within two months one should marry somebody? No, I didn't say that. I said that you know. Yeah, you know after two certain, months, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying, but I don't think there's a timeline. I don't think, oh, four years, yeah, then that's good. I feel like if you if you know at two months, you would let a year or two go by, then go for it. Okay, so that's your time frame, a year or two. No, it could be six months. I'm just saying. Nah, just I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend anybody to get married after six months of knowing the person. Like I said. Um, that's just me personally. That's Simple. my opinion, that's my advice. That's just you, though. No, that's, that's what I'm saying. People. That's my opinion. That's my advice. Shouldn't give that to people. Mm. What are you saying then? What happened? Well, we have this old bay on the side. I just dipped it in. It's good, right? Very good. Um, um go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say um that yeah I wouldn't I wouldn't advise anybody to to propose after six months. I say, fellows, you're smarter than that. Follow your heart. Don't follow your heart. What? <laughs> You're smarter than that. No. Don't propose after six months. Oh, I feel like we shouldn't even put this topic out now because you, you were just doing a lot. At this point, I feel like I'm not good enough that I, you know, somebody wouldn't propose to me after six months. After six months? Oh, who got married at six months? That's ridiculous, I think. That's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. That's just my opinion, you know. Four years, though? Like, that's a lot. Four years is not a long time. It depends. So some people, some people, you, you know, yeah. Some people take take a longer. I think it depends on the many factors. On the what? Many factors. Why say that? Because, like, for example, us. If you didn't know, we are not the same age. I am older. By several years. Um, well, if you know us, you already know how, how much. Not that much though. Don't don't do that. Um, to put some of our business out there, I feel like coming into this relationship, I was more experienced than you were, and so. <clears throat> Our circumstances was different because you needed to grow. That's that's fair to say. Mm -hmm. And you know, like I said, our circumstances was just a bit different. So I get his timeline when it comes to us. He needs to figure out himself first. But for other people, especially if you like in your forties. You know, I didn't see the way four years. I don't think so. Go ahead and do it. If you feel like that person is the one. You don't have time to waste. In your 40s, really? We're still in our 20s. Yeah, 40s is still young. Even if you're in your 40s, I would still recommend not, you know, rushing into stuff like that. Like I said, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. That's all. Oh, yeah. If you know, you know, but still, don't. No need to rush into a something that big, you know. Especially, it's a big main. That's a big decision in your life, so well, yeah, you don't want to just jump into that. And you know, like, how are you gonna jump in? Like, I don't know. For me, there's certain things that have to be checked off before you put a ring on somebody's finger. Like, if you never met the person's parents, 
and the parents are alive and well. Like, you have to, like, that's just simple things have to be checked off. If you have a relationship with the parents, obviously. Oh, yeah, we're assuming that. All those little things have to be checked off in my book. How are you going to marry the person and propose? You don't even know the middle name. Like, certain things have to be checked off. Like, it's just, like, it's like this common, like, it's like courtesy, like, like just being respectful. Like, let me know you for, to, in a certain, like, depth before I ask for your hand in marriage. What if all of the things that you said you have to go through happens in the first year? Then what? If everything hap if somehow, if somehow, some way, all those things I mentioned happen within one year, mm -hmm. then you have, then I would be fine with it. But that's that's a lot to that's a lot to happen in one year. A lot of things can happen in one year. Yeah, but that is a lot. But I, it's, I'm pretty sure this happens. It's oh. possible. So if if all those things, if your checklist is checked off within a year, then by all means. But I think you should have a certain like. I mean, I gotta know this, this, and this. I need to know X, Y, and Z before I, you know, go ring shopping. That's marriage, my is a, marriage is a huge commitment, but for those people who you're together and you have kids, honestly, marriage, kids, like, which one is more of a commitment? Guys, like, be smart about it. Kids is more of a commitment right. because you can't get out of that. If we had kids right now and you just like, oh, yeah, no, we still gotta wait, we still gotta wait, like, I would be like, honestly, I would be like, you're a bum. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie. You can't get out of kids. You can get out of a marriage real quick. Not real quick, but kids, you can't. That that's always gonna be your child. So you're always gonna have that child with that person. So you're forever linked. So. And also, like, there's certain other things, like, um, like shrimp is some, really good. Some people would say, like, if I'm marrying you and we're pretty much playing house, like, why can't you just marry me? Like, like you and I, we play. Well, like. I'll, we play house. We live together. We do other things. You know. Well, I, well, I'll be the first to say I probably never told you that. I don't like the term when people say play house. Like it makes it seem like I'm taking this as a joke or lightly. Um, I'm very serious about our relationship. So um, I wouldn't. I don't like the term play house because it feels like I'm playing with her or something. I'm not. I'm very serious. So. I, don't, I just don't like that term, but yeah. In the, I felt like I felt like in the beginning we were playing house. You know why I say that though. Um, I get, I, I guess, yes. but I still don't like it. I still don't like it. Oh shoot! What? Yeah. Mm. At some point. Hey, you want one? Why you don't want it? I'm mm, really like, like biting into these things. At some point, I feel like if you do want to be married, because some people will, I feel like some people will say, oh, I don't want to be married. It's, and, and I feel like the number one reason is because you've been with your partner for so long and they just haven't popped the question, so now you're just okay with it. I felt like the first couple months of our relationship, we kind of like went over, like, yo, listen, if it don't happen in this, 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 then it's this, this, this. Cause you're you're playing, and I want to be married, especially before I have kids. Yeah, so like if in the relationship, those are the things you gotta talk about, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, and we talk a lot. Yeah. We talk a lot. We don't. We try to communicate, let's just say that. We're not always the best. These crablets are good. Yeah, shout out shout out to BJ's man. We got this food at BJ's, shout out to BJ's. Uh really good. Mm-hmm. Really good. Yeah. I'm full. You know what? The water probably took most of the seasoning. Yeah, of course. Really? For sure. So, yeah, shout out BJ's, man. Anything else you have to say? Um, nah, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good in terms of, uh, what I have to say. 
Um, moral of the story. Whenever you're ready, make sure that you're 100%. I recommend anybody, before you get married, to see my like marriage counselor or something, to make sure that you're 100%, though, for sure. Sometimes you could just really jump the gun. That's what I'm saying. Like, you have, like, relationship no. problems. Like, every relationship does. But that's what I've been saying the whole video. That's what I've been saying the whole video. Though. You start look overlooking it? That's what I've been saying the whole video. That's um, why I say, no, I like, said. you need to figure out X, Y, and Z. You need to check off your checklist. That's not even what I'm trying to say. I'm saying you propose, I'm saying, before you get married. You call off an engagement. You know what I mean? Yeah, but if you're calling off an engagement, it's because you're not sure. Or you found out something or something While you don't like. you engaged. And listen, I'm saying if you have that time, it's I'm, less likely you'll find out something that you don't like. And it's less likely things will get called off. You always, honestly, I feel like it don't matter. You could build with somebody for 20 years. And it was, it's been so good, they didn't do anything. And then in that 20th year, they cheated. You can't change that. It just happened. People are going to do bad. Yeah, no, things happen regardless. But sometimes you could reduce the likelihood oh, by not by not marrying them in six months, or never marrying them. That's what I'm that's trying to say. That's fine too. No, that's not fine. Some people want to be married. Do you want to be married? Yeah. No, I'm just saying it's fine not to be married. That's what I'm saying. Uh uh It's fine to date someone and it doesn't work out. Oh yeah, and then it's you go on to the next person. Absolutely. I'm saying if this person is your forever. Then you know why wouldn't you? First of all, one like I I don't I'm, I guess I guess why people don't want to be married because of the commitment. Well, then how I think of it as like say if we have kids or whatever, or just like say we aren't married but we've been together for twenty years, right? And he falls ill. I have no say so over anything that happens to him because I'm not legally binded to him, and I don't like stuff like that. Like how can I be, been with somebody for twenty years? And I have no legal say over him because we never got married. And now that goes on to, like, say, uh, his parents. But, like, he, they haven't been living with him or been with him for the last 20 years. I know him, like, differently than how they would know him. And I, so I would know what he would want, but I have no say so over it. That doesn't, like, yeah, that's I how I think about it. Like, yeah. say, he, if, say if he does, like, I'm not trying to sound like a gold digger, but like, say he does get millions. If something happens to him, I get nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Secure the bag, ladies. It's not Engines. even about that. It's not, it's not even just about that, but you know what I mean. I have no say so over nothing if we're not legally blinded. And I think what it boils down to is how much you value it. Mm -hmm. You know, how much do you value marriage? Some people don't value it a lot. Some people, you know, that's what they strive for. And it's, 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 um, it's you know, yeah, because it's not Whatever, marriage, you know. Marriage isn't just about you two. It's also about just like, um, for me, uh, your, uh, what you believe in. Yeah. Because it's a religious uh, it's a sacrament. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. Um, all those things come into play, and that's what determines whether or not people are, you know. We are sinful. Gung ho about. <laughs> oh, of course. But that makes you think, you know, all that determines whether people or not are going to hold about marriage or not. So, you have all these different factors. So, you got to, um, you know, take that into consideration and make your decision. So, don't get forced into anything, though. Don't you don't get like that? No. Oh, my gosh. Guys, the best part. Don't get forced into anything. Oh yeah, don't get forced into. Don't let nobody force you to do anything. Yeah. Um. But if you're being dumb, I'm not seeing that the person that you're with is a hundred percent worth it. Then you're dumb. Because you're gonna lose a good person. Yeah, that happens too. Fellows, don't be dumb. Don't wait too you got, long. You got, yeah, don't wait too long. If you're waiting eight years, I can't support that. But, um, yeah. Ooh, this 
to some good crab legs. You got a lot of shrimp left. I know. You want them? You can have them. Yeah, I've been I've been dogging the shrimp. Yeah, you got the shrimps. I'm I'm trying to eat these claws. I want to like sprinkle the old man <sighs> all over the the shrimp. So good, right? Yeah, it's good. I'm telling you, this is twenty two dollars. I think this for two servings. So good. I didn't think it was gonna be this much. Mm hmm. But you're gonna eat more food, aren't you? Depends what time it is. It's two o'clock. No, probably not actually. Really? Maybe, no. maybe just no, one eat piece something of chicken. because then this is gonna run up. This doesn't hold you. Yeah, that it doesn't. Long, yeah. So one thing about seafood, man, it doesn't hold you like that. It's very tasty. Mm -hmm, but thirty minutes later, you'd be hungry. Expensive too, but you'd be hungry later. Um. Anything else? Oh, this topic can go on for days. Yeah. We talk about this very often. Yeah, let us know. So we're planning on in the future to get some mics. Let us know if you guys want more sit-down relationship talk. Um, we, we're looking to get a mic soon, get some better audio quality. Maybe invite some people onto the conversation or into the conversation. So if you guys want to see like more relationship combos, uh, leave a comment down below and let us know. And we'll uh, do more of these type of videos. Might just be talking, might be eating and talking. We should know. call it like bonnet talk because honestly, I feel like <laughs> two yeah, videos in a row of my bonnetism. Bonnet, yeah. Bonnet talk. Guys, um, I look crazy underneath the bonnet right now. She looks beautiful. She always does. I washed my hair and they're like flat and like weird ways. It doesn't look that bad. Well, it's, yeah. a, little, it's a little bit messy. Okay. It's a little bit messy. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Um, you made it this far thank you so much make sure to subscribe and like and comments uh ring that bell so you see the uh, notifications when we have a new video and thanks for watching Peace. if you guys want to see our most recent video click here and if you want to see our favorite videos click here take your time boy.